Hi, this is Jameson with Fresno Madera Youth for Christ, and this is your moment with God. Hey, if you had one minute to share the gospel, what would you say? Sharing the gospel for most people feels very daunting. I think because there's thick books written about it, explaining it, you feel like you have to use key words and big words, and actually a lot of people argue about the intricacies of the gospel, and so if you don't share your faith in the course of the year, you're actually in pretty good company. About 95% of Christians don't. But I'll tell you, one thing I've, I've learned working with kids is it doesn't need to be that complicated. Sure, if, if, if the gospel is like a diamond and you want to get the eyepiece on and look at it real close, you'll start to see all sorts of things, the color, the cut, the clarity. But if you want to take that jeweler's eyepiece down and back up a little bit, you can still appreciate it for what it is. It's the gospel. It's, it's good news. It's precious. It's beautiful. It's valuable. So how would you share the gospel in one minute. Well, I like to use some verses. And, and one of the ones, you know, it's an oldie but a goodie, but it's John 3, 16. And it says, For God so loved the world, he gave his son, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Or another one out of Romans 6. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. At YFC, we love sharing the gospel one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, and, and we like to do it in ways that are simple, just sharing the simple truth of scripture. In fact, I like to use four words that I'd like to share with you today about how I share the gospel. And the first word is relationship. We, we were made for a relationship with God. And that's the picture of the first page of your Bible, walking naked with God in the garden. It's pretty good stuff. Well, you turn that page and people are murdering people. So things, things switch pretty quick. That's why the second word is resist. Each of us understands that we go our own way and we hurt ourselves, we hurt our relationships, we hurt the earth, and we break our relationship with God. We resist our relationship with God. And think about that. God made us to be with him, but we said, forget you and went our own way. And God could have left it that way. He could have said, well, I guess I'll start over, but he didn't do that. He sent Jesus to restore our relationship. Or, or to even to redeem us or to reckon I mean, There's so many good R words you could use here, but I'm just gonna go with restore. We're made for a relationship with God. We resist that relationship, but Jesus came to restore us. Restore us in right relationship to him and each other, to the earth and ourselves. And lastly though, this free gift of God that he gives you, you have to unbox it to make use of it. You have to respond. Part of receiving Jesus means putting your faith in him, your trust in him, your belief in him, or, or said another way, walking in his footsteps, responding to what God's done for you. That's how I love to share the gospel. And I wanna encourage you, from Spirit 88.9 and Fresno Madera Youth for Christ, there's someone in your life that needs to hear that simple, profound truth that they were made for a relationship with God and he's redeemed them in Christ. May you be used this week to help someone respond to that message. God bless.